Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video we are going to talk about event sourcing with event driven architecture. So event sourcing is not directly linked with event driven architecture but it is just uh, saying that how can we maintain the sequence of events or it is just a way to store the sequence of events which are happening. So in the traditional event driven architecture we don't have a track of events which are getting executed by consumers you 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 keep raising the events i i don't think you are maintaining a sequence you keep raising the events and the consumers are processing that event we are not maintaining the state of a particular event i mean we don't have the whole system state the events are coming and getting executed at any point of time if you try to get the state we don't have like what all events has been processed if we try to play around the whole state what all st event state has been executed to achieve this particular state we don't have that information so event sourcing is introducing this event store which keeps the stack of all the events together and then it will publish them okay like you have the card created item 1 item 2 item 1 removed sitting information sitting information added right these five six set of events first you will put that in the event store now you have whole information of event store which are going to be published and then it will publish to the the same sqs system and then it will get published or processed okay so even if something failed you still have the logging information you still know what all events you have published so this intermediate event store is event sourcing we are actually storing these events which are going to be triggered right so you can say that is order placed order approved order shipped order received order cancelled and customer address changed right all these are sequence of events which we are storing in the event store and then we are sending these events to the the responsible services so at any point of time if i wanted to check the state of uh, this particular event which particular event is getting executed which has been failed i can do the tracing i can do the logging and i can identify the the state where it has broken if you wanted to identify so all these are actually events which are carrying the state change okay and there, there is a set of sequence we have already established in this event store okay this will happen in this particular event okay so most applications works with data like typical approaches from the application to maintain the current state like for example rest here we are making get put post delete and we if we are executing these instructions these set of methods in a particular order then we already know we always know what the final state is going to be okay so the event sourcing pattern defines an approach to handle the operations on that data which is driven by a sequence of event okay what is highlighted here driven by sequence of events each of which recorded in the append only store so that store is recording all these events which are getting processed in a particular sequence okay if you talk about event sourcing like th these are actually request coming from different services like create user user 2 user 3 user 4 and if you see how database will update database will create first user then second user third user and fourth user and finally if you see the final state of uh, that database table you will see all the names available there whatever user requested in the same order sequence was same the first user we have created was neha then prince and all these keep adding right so here we are actually maintaining the sequence of uh, the events in the same sequence this state of this particular table had changed okay advantage of event sourcing with event sourcing uh, the state change whatever is happening we can do the audit logging okay uh, we can replay the events in case of application failure we can reconstruct the state of event because we have the state of we have the set of events or sequence of events which has been triggered to achieve this particular state okay these are two most important state in the next video we'll talk about command query responsible responsibility segregation pattern so which is actually extension of event sourcing okay here we are getting these events and we just create a sequence of events we put them in a particular store and then these are getting processed okay what if we try to segregate and read and write 
kind of sequence from here there will be some read events some write events write events will be nothing but actions will be commands read events will be nothing but query you will be sending a query event you will be sending a command event right if we talk in terms of event driven design okay let's have a look on cqrs pattern in the next video